Okay, so Output has a plugin called Co-Producer, which they deemed as the fastest way to find samples that fit. Let's play a game. I'm literally gonna load up Co-Producer, this plugin, and I just want you to see if you can guess what it's doing. Watch this. How many times do I gotta go back this far? I take two steps forward and I'm praying that I don't fall. I always find myself trying to climb up on this ladder. Everything that I try and feel like it don't matter. No one's stopping. How many times do I gotta go back this far? I take two steps forward and I'm praying that I don't fall. I always find myself trying to climb up on this ladder. Everything that I try and feel like it don't matter. No one's stopping. How many times do I gotta go back this far? I take two steps forward and I'm praying that I don't fall. I always find myself trying to climb up on this ladder. Everything that I try and feel like it don't matter. No one's stopping. How many times do I gotta go back this far? I take two steps forward and I'm praying that I don't fall. I always find myself trying to climb up on this ladder. Everything that I try and feel like it don't matter. No one's stopping. How many times do I gotta matter? No one's stopping you, but you. I gotta say it to myself. Cause sometimes I forget what I've been through. Cause no one's stopping you, but you. I gotta say it again. No matter how. So what it allowed me to do and what it did was, and this is a genuine just kind of show and tell of it for me because obviously you saw those loud moments and I just turned it down. It is allowing me to pick sections of my song or just take the song in general, depending on how many bars I want to analyze of the song, and then allowing me to literally within the prompt ask it for what I am looking for in it, whether that's a cinematic strings or vocal one shots or guitar leads or synth leads or drum patterns and being able to have those samples get found in time, in key and just sonically to what I'm looking for. And it works. It actually really, really works. And I, and I, the reason why I'm saying it is because I know a lot of times we get tools like this and it's like, ah, it works sometime. But this, it really, really works. Now, I do want to be transparent and let you know that Output is sponsoring this video and I appreciate them so much. They really just outdid themselves with this one, I'm being honest with you. But obviously, it is they, they did sponsor the video. So I do want to be transparent about that. And I'll leave a link in the description also if you want to try Co-Producer for seven days. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just really caught up in it because it's shocking to me as far as what it does and how it works let me show you it and let's just go from there. But yeah, long story short, you saw what I did. I was able to analyze the section of the song, which I picked like a progression that was pretty much the progression of the whole song as far as four bars. And then I typed in what I was looking for. In this part in particular, I typed in R&B guitar lead. And so it gave me that right there. But I could do all kinds of things. Say for instance, I can go to this post hook part right here. And sometimes on my post hook, I, I like to put like cinematic strings and stuff like that. So let's try that right quick. So I'm gonna go right here. Let's listen to how this ends. Na, 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 na. Cool. So it's this little post hook, and the beautiful thing about it is that chord progression is the same. So I don't have to reanalyze this sound again, but I'm just going to type in, give me some cinematic uh, lush pads. Give me some cinematic lush pads. I'm going to see what it gives me. It's coming up. And the crazy thing is it'll play in time no matter where I'm at. So even at this spot right here, it's still going to play it in time no matter where it's at. And I have co-producer on the master. So it's analyzing all of the music in its totality, which it did already. So I don't have to do it again also. Let's check it out.
you get the point. It's, like I said, I could just literally just get this thing to co-produce the record with me. So even with that being said, I can also say, for instance, let's try something else. Let's go for, give me hip hop drum pattern. And I'm sometimes I'll like, literally I've been putting stuff in that are very specific too. So I'll say hip hop drum pattern. So let's do that. Let's see what it gives me. Loading it up. And I can play it with the music in, but I just want to play it without it just so I can hear what it's actually giving me. Hold up, when you didn't expect something, wait, I was like, oh, hold on, I want to save that for later. Hold on. I know we're doing this video, but hold on, hold on one second. I got to save that. Yo, that had a, a thing to it. Oh, I got to put that here. Let me see something right quick. Whoa, that, that was cool. Let me see. How many times do I got to go back this far? I take two steps forward and I'm praying that I don't fall. Always find myself trying to climb up on this ladder Everything that I try and feel like it don't matter No one's stopping you but you Yo, that's crazy. Um, yeah, that's crazy. Uh, yeah, save. Let me press save on that one. Yeah, sorry, I got a little flabbergasted by that because of just like, uh, obviously it's music, but that fit. You see the point of what it does for the most part. So it's really you could do anything you want. It's a co-producer. To me, I think that it's something that I can use to help me as far as the production process. And me being in a very, very big user of Arcade in general, it's dope because now this is giving me an opportunity to find samples way faster in that regard too. Obviously, I'll go through different lines and kind of look for the vibe, but now I'm able to literally go into co-producer, just type in the genre, the style, the feel, and go from there. For instance, if I type hip-hop drum pattern with hip-hop drum percussion, let's say percussion, with groovy, let's say groovy swing. And let me see what it gives me. And once again, I didn't have to reanalyze again because obviously those four bars are pretty much the same throughout the whole song. That's the progression. Let me see what this sounds like. So let's mute this one. Let's take this. Times do I gotta go back this far? I take two steps forward and I'm praying that I don't fall. I always find myself trying to climb up on this ladder. Everything that I try and feel like it don't matter. No one's stopping you, but you. I gotta say it. How many times do I gotta go back this far? I take two steps forward and I'm praying that I don't fall. And that's one of the cool things I say about it also is that the fact that everything's in time. Like, I don't have to like, okay, wait, line it up. Like, we're, no matter where I play, like, even if I play it in the middle of the sample, it's going to play in time. So. Two, two steps forward and I'm praying that I don't fall. I always find myself trying to like everything plays in time in the whole nine everything is already in time mapped in the whole nine this is honestly there's a lot of different possibilities to it i haven't even explored everything but to be honest with you i think there's a lot of possibilities to it as far as what you could do now let's say for instance i want to change the chords completely as far as what i have here and the chords right now that i have is this And so I'm like, ah, let's pick a different sound. So for that, those are pianos. But let's say give me a R&B guitar chords. R&B guitar chords. This fall. I 
take two steps forward and I'm praying that I don't fall I always find myself trying to climb up on this ladder Everything that I try and feel like it don't matter No one's stopping How many times do I gotta go back this far? I mean, yeah so output co-producer giving you the ability to find samples way faster and also just be that other extra piece of inspiration that you use as a producer to make those final decisions i think it's not totally up to what this depicts for you as far as what you're trying to do sonically with the music but literally it's still giving you the choice and the ability to choose what fits in the music once again i'm the one who's choosing do i want a lush pad or do i want cinematic strings or do i want vocal one shots or whatever it is and then kind of pr still producing those records i think it's a really cool tool especially if you're an arcade user as is to literally just find the sounds easily by just typing them in and i'm a big fan of that with some other plugins that i have as well but i hope that that was helpful i hope you see this for what i see it for definitely going to be using this within my production hands down and if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please make sure you comment below. I hope that was helpful. Once again, I'll leave a link in the description below. Really, really impressed with it. You know, nonetheless, this is a sponsored video, and thank you to Output for sponsoring it. But nonetheless, I think you could see the value in it for what it is. I tested it out for myself, and I was just really, really impressed with it and thought that it added value to someone out there if you're watching it. So, hope that was helpful, and uh, until next time, y'all.